Thank you for joining. My name is Monique Pagan and I am your Holistic Pilates and Transformation Coach. Today I am sharing with you just a quick core workout without doing a single crunch. Okay, and before I get into that, I just want to announce that I am hosting an online group class next Saturday at 10.30 a.m. I put the link in the description of this video so you can sign up there. It's just $17, and I will be able to see you do the exercises and make sure that you're doing them correctly. So it's a little bit different than having a live video where, I, where you can only see me and I can't see you. So the, in the group session next Saturday, I'll be able to see you. So that will be very exciting and beneficial for you. So let's talk about the core. And the reason why we, I'm doing the core exercises today the way that I'm doing them is because our core is not just those six pack muscles that you see um, in someone that's well developed in their musculature. Our core includes the six pack, but it's also our obliques, it's our transverse abdominus, which wraps around, it's our pelvic floor, it's our diaphragm, it's our multifidi, which are very small muscles that go between the vertebrae. So it, it's this whole package right here. It's not just the six pack muscles. Okay, so that's what I mean by core. So I'm going to give you two prep exercises before we get into it, and we're going to start on our hands and knees. So you want your hands directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. If you think that any of your friends will benefit from this, please do share this out at the bottom of your screen. Okay, so let's begin by taking a breath in. And exhale, you're gonna round your spine. This is just warming up the spine to get ready to do what we're going to do for our core. And then inhale and go the opposite direction by lifting your head, lifting your tailbone up and dropping your chest down. And then exhale, curl. Inhale as you arch. Even though you're in this position, you're still holding your belly in a little bit. And exhale, curl. And inhale, arch, open in the chest through the shoulders. And let's take two more of those. And inhale, keeping the belly cinched in. One more. And inhale. And now find neutral. So you're gonna find a place where you're in between those two points that we just met. So now this is just a prep for what we're gonna do after, which are planks. You're gonna drop the chest down without bending the elbows and then push the chest away. So I'm just mobilizing my shoulder blades. I'm not bending my arms. I'm just moving my shoulder blades toward my spine and away from my spine. If you ever see a boxer, you see like these diagonal muscles here on the, the sides of the boxer. Um, this is the muscle that we're working. It's called your serratus anterior. Okay, so you really need that to be active in your planks. So you, we're just prepping here so that you can find the muscle. You want to keep your ribs knitted in. I just fixed myself there. <laughs> and let's take three more of these. And two. And one. So this pressing sensation, not dropping into your shoulders, but the pressing sensation here, you wanna keep that in your planks. We're gonna go ahead and drop down into our planks. So drop your elbows down, have your elbows underneath your shoulders, reach your foot back, and reach the other foot back. You see how my bum is up in the air? You wanna tuck the bum and drop it down. You don't want your butt sticking out because you're not working your abs, really. You're working your back. You wanna tuck the tailbone underneath, pull the belly in, and we're gonna inhale, let the diaphragm expand, and exhale, cinch the waist even more. Inhale. Hi, Courtney. And exhale, pull the belly in towards your spine. Inhale. And exhale. If you find that your butt starts to stick out, just reset, inhale, and exhale. Two more big breaths here, inhale, and exhale. Again, try not to droop in the shoulders, press away, inhale, and exhale. Excellent, drop the knees down, open the knees, 
push your butt back towards your heels drop your head down and just take a little break here in child's pose come back in drop the show the elbows down again going back into your plank again butt is not in the air tuck the tailbone underneath pull the belly in and now here remember the scapula dips that we did in the beginning you know drop down and push away just moving the shoulder blades working on the serratus anterior I need to do an adjustment there excellent I can barely talk in this one this was hard <laughs> This is three, counting down, two, and one. He, 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 he. And drop the hips and take your child's pose for a break. Coming back up. So all of this is variations on planks, okay? Elbows underneath the shoulders. Reach into the heels, tuck the tailbone underneath, lower the hips down. Okay, you're not all the way here either. Lower the hips down, and now you're gonna point one foot, thank you for the like, and tuck those toes. Point the other foot, and tuck the toes. Again, you're not dropping down into your shoulders. Point one foot, reset there I got myself out of alignment there it's not about how high you lift the leg because if you lift the leg you're gonna arch your back you still want to curl the tailbone underneath I'm sweating <laughs> and point and tuck and point and tuck thank you for the hearts and point and tuck thank you for the encouragement because I'm oh <laughs> and last two Keeping the hips level and last one, drop the knees and take your break there. All right guys, so in the next one, you're in your plank position and you're gonna go into a side plank. So you're coming from a front plank to a side plank. So what's happening in the front plank to the side plank you don't want to lead with your hips and I'll show you so you're here what you want what you're going to want to do is side bring your hips back and then come into the side plank that's not what's happening what I want you to do first set up your details tuck the tailbone underneath you right you're going to shift your weight onto your right elbow okay then turn your entire body at the same time and now I'm looking in at myself and I see that my elbow is a little close so I just want to adjust that you want your elbow directly underneath your shoulder and again you're not sinking into your shoulder push out of your shoulder I'm shaking and that same tucking sensation you want to tuck the tailbone underneath don't let your butt stick out soften the ribs in and breathe you never want to hold your breath. <sighs> Thank you for the like. I'm shaking. Hi, Sydney. Come back in one piece. <sighs> and go into the other side. Tuck the tailbone underneath. Shift. And then turn the whole body. Breathe. Lift the navel in and up. Drop the tailbone all the way down. Soften the ribs. Hold your position, push into the floor so that you're not sinking into your shoulder. And breathe and shake and breathe and shake. I'm not sure if you can see me shaking, but I'm shaking. Two more breaths. One more breath. Turn your body in one piece. Take your hips with you. Yes. Excellent. And take your child's pose. We're gonna do one more exercise. 
and it's called swimming in Pilates onto your stomach so reach the arms forward and then you're gonna lift your legs and your arms and your chest up off of the floor let your thumbs go up towards the ceiling okay make sure your legs are in parallel you don't want to turn the legs out make sure they're in parallel you're gonna lift the opposite arm and leg and then you're gonna switch and switch and switch make sure the shoulders are not in your ears meaning they're not up here drop the shoulders relax the shoulders down the back and switch and switch and switch and switch and switch long back of the neck belly is coming in and let's take this faster for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two and one reach and bring yourself down push yourself back into child's pose <sighs> yes <sighs> and breathe <sighs> one more breath here and bring yourself up and we are all done so that's your core workout without doing a single crunch <laughs> if you found yourself just watching me and not doing anything with me and saying oh i'm going to save this video for later and you never get back to doing the video on your own join me in my class next saturday 10 30 a.m edt time and the link is in the description for you to sign up. Only $17, no biggie, and I will see you then.